Dude. 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 But what? Oh! Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Ocarina of Time! Uh, in the last part, we got our sword and shield. And in this part, we're probably gonna head towards the Great Deku Tree and see what he wanted with us. But first, I forgot to show off probably the best way to get money in this game. You are outside of, um, the Great Douchebag's house. You go inside. You'll see all these chests here. Open them and... You get to steal all his money! Yes. Now that's what I like to call justice. He doesn't need this stuff. I'll just take it from him. The last one is a heart you really shouldn't need yet. But it's there if you want it. And what do we have over here? Forest folk shall not leave these woods. Well, that's not fair. You're not allowed to leave the forest. The great Deku Tree said that if a Kokiri leaves the woods, he or she will die. But, 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 I want to leave. Unless... Look, a distraction! Come on. Okay, probably not. There actually is a way to glitch past this guy. I'll probably show that off a little later. Because I'm not really a fan of sequence breaking. So I'll make a bonus video later showing how you do that. For now though, let's go to the Great Deku Tree. And show that might of who the true boss of the Kakairi of the Kakairi is. Okay. Up over here and yo dude, check it out. If you want to see the Great Deku Tree, you should at least equip a sword and shield. Eh? What's that? Oh, you have a Deku Shield. And what's that? Is that the Kokiri Sword? Maybe. Good grief! Well, even with all that stuff, a wimp is still a wimp, huh? I, the Great Mido, will never accept you as one of us. Shoot! How did you get to be the favorite of Saria and the Great Deku Tree? Huh? Yeah, yeah, suck it up, dude. Okay, go through here and you'll run into your first enemies. Very simple, just with their Deku... Deku Bubba's. The only way they can possibly hurt you is if you touch them, so... One slice and they're dead and you get... A Deku Stick! This is actually a pretty useful item. You can use it to light torches and stuff like that. But there's a secret use for it that's even better than lighting torches. Yeah, normally I'd recommend detargenting, but with these, no problem. And they will respawn after a while, so just go ahead and run past them. Now, as I was saying, and the laggy opening screen, you can equip Deku Sticks using C, your first C item. And Deku Sticks are actually, you can use them to attack with, and they're actually twice as powerful as your sword. Yeah. So you can do some pretty badass things with these, but we'll get into that later. For now, let's see the Great Deku Tree. Great Deku Tree, I'm back. Oh, Navi, that thou hast returned. Link, welcome. Listen carefully to what I, the Deku Tree, I'm about to tell thee. Thy slumber these past moons must have been restless and full of nightmares. As the servants of evil gain strength, a vile climate pervades the land and causes nightmares to those sensitive to it. Verily, thou hast felt it. Link, the time has come to test thy courage. I have been cursed. I need you to break the curse with your wisdom and courage. Dost thou have courage enough to undertake this task? Uh, sure. Then enter, brave Link, and thou too, Navi. Wait, wait, wait. You want us to go inside you? What? First you got that kid outside, humping the rocks. And now the great Deku Tree is like a father to us, wants us to go inside... Okay. 
Navi the fairy, thou must aid Link. And Link, when Navi speaks, use Topsy to listen well to her words of wisdom. Weird, but let's go. Walking backwards actually is the probably the fastest way to move in this game. Without glitches, anyway. Pretty weird, but okay. And here's our first dungeon. Inside the Deku tree. Okay. What? Look, look, Link. You can see down below this web using top C. So you can see this is where we're ultimately trying to get to. We'll get into that later. And you have your first enemy that might actually be a threat. A Deku Bubba. Just attack him like that and get some Deku Nuts. You got a Deku Nut! Deku Nuts can actually- I used to think Deku Nuts were completely useless, but they're actually pretty useful. So you can use them to stun enemies and eh, some other stuff we'll get into later. If you stun them like that, you can get a Deku Stick. So... Oddly enough, there are ladders in here. That makes sense. Nintendo logic. Circle around here. Cut this grass that will grow back after a while, so... And we come across... What? Look at this wall! The vines growing on it give it a rough surface. Maybe you can climb it, Link. Okay, what's the point of telling us to press Topsy to listen to her if you're just gonna make us listen to her anyway? I mean, really now. We have a giant test chest here, so let's see what's in it. And you got the thing everyone hates to find in chests. The map. Yay! I'll show you how to use it real quick. Since I just kind of skipped all the text. The flashing room is where you're in. And the blue rooms are where you've already been. The... Not colored rooms are where you haven't visited. And that's basically it. I never used the map, so. And you have some Skawatulas climbing on the walls here. Can't do anything about that yet. It probably is possible to climb up there even with them on it, but it's best to go this way first. What? You can open a door by standing in front of it and pressing A. Pay attention to what the action icon says. Yeah, yeah, I know. Shut up, Navi. And you have your first Deku Scrub here. Easy enough, simply block his nut with a shield and... Run up to him while holding Z. While targeting him. Ow, ow, ow! Forgive me, Master! If I give you a clue, will you let me go? When you jump off a high cliff, if you hold control shift forward, you will roll on the ground when you land and won't get hurt from the fall. I can't guarantee it will work, though, if the cliff is really, really high. <laughs> well, try it if you are feeling brown cold. Waha! Yes, if you jump off a cliff and hold control, control stick forward, Link will roll instead of getting hurt. If it is really high, though, it won't necessarily work. Okay. Normally, you just jump across this platform to get to the other side, but I prefer to jump down here for reasons I'll show in a minute. And climb up these vines. And see if this, anything, if this is anything more useful than the freaking map. And it is! It's our first dungeon treasure, the slingshot. is a pretty handy item, as you'll see. It's your first weapon other than the sword, unless you count the Deku stick. But, we're gonna have to cut this right here, because we're almost out of time. Okay. Next time on Ocarina of Time, we'll see what we can get out of this room. Okay? See you guys then.